Megan with you guys today for a new video and this one's going to be 11 things no one told me about sorority recruitment. And I know a lot of you guys are going through formal recruitment in the fall and you are really really excited and I'm excited for you guys because sorority life is an awesome experience and something that you definitely cannot get anywhere else. And if you guys are wondering, I am in Kappa Delta sorority. This will be my third year in it because I'm going to be a junior. So I definitely have a lot of experience with sorority life and things like that. So I'm going to tell you guys 11 things that no one told me about sorority recruitment that I think will be really helpful for those of you who are going through recruitment this fall. So let's go ahead and jump into everything. The first one is you're bound to be dropped by a house that you love. No, it's not going to be the end of the world and you probably will get a little upset. But you'll move on and you'll end up finding a house that you love and you fit in best. Definitely keep that in mind when you guys are going through recruitment. Do not get super upset if you don't get the house that you were definitely dying to get. The second one is to be nice to the girls in your recruitment group. And these are the girls where you have like your little rogue Gamma Chi or like your SRC or sorority recruitment counselor, whatever you call them. And then there are all these little girls in your group that you're all going through recruitment together and you kind of go through each of the nights together and stay near each other and definitely make friends with them because some of those girls are going to end up being your sisters, some of those girls will still end up being your friends regardless of what sorority they're in. So be nice to everyone and really try to make friends with them and kind of hang out, ask them to do stuff like outside of your sorority recruitment because this is a really great way to meet people and again have some best friends and who doesn't want friends when you're going through college, right? And planning your outfits ahead of time will be really, really good for you come sorority recruitment week because you won't have to think about it. They'll already be ready and just kind of laid out. You can just pick them up and put them on. There's no work to it. And you probably won't have as much time to really go and pick out all these outfits and like make them look awesome during that week because you'll probably be a little bit busy with a lot of pre-recruitment events and then the recruitment events and all that kind of stuff, like long nights. So you really want to just plan them ahead because it's easy, it's nice. <laughs> Another tip is to go check out my um, Sorority Rush Week Essentials video. That is where I will tell you everything that you should keep in your bag for Sorority Rush Week. And it has like an entire list of everything so that you guys will be prepared for every single night and you won't be left in a pickle, like not being able to find something or if you get blisters on your feet, you won't be left without band-aids and all that kind of stuff. So it'll really keep you prepared for that week and be able to survive every night. So definitely go check that out and it will be linked in the down bar. The fifth thing was, no one ever told me to research the sororities before I went through recruitment. I had heard several things about all the different sororities on my campus and so I had heard all these rumors but I had never looked up their websites or their tumblers or their Instagram or their Twitters and see what they're really about, what they're posting about, what their sisters actually look like, what they're doing on campus. And I think that could have been a, like a huge difference in like my attitude going through sorority recruitment and definitely um, lead me to the right sorority. Not that I didn't end up in the right sorority. I love my sorority and I'm so glad I'm in it and literally it was actually my one of my like top choices. So another tip that would have been really helpful to know was to break in any new heels and flats you have before sorority recruitment i remember wearing wedges one night that were not broken in and they were tearing my feet up my feet were so sore i had blisters all on my heels and i was so uncomfortable the rest of the night and all i could focus on was the fact that my feet hurt so bad so breaking your heels if you're going to be wearing like nude like leather type shoes those really hurt if you don't break them in so do that and get used to walking in them too so that you don't look like an awkward little duck kind of like waddling along. It can be really weird. Do not forget to eat, please. If you get anything out of this video, let this be the one thing that really sticks in your head is to not forget to eat. Eat dinner, bring snacks, bring a got bottle, a gottle of water, a bottle of water in your bag. You need to have that kind of stuff with you because you're probably going to be standing up for long periods of time. And do not lock your legs while you're talking to people. Please, please don't do that. I would not want someone to pass out. I had a girl in my sorority recruitment group when I went through who passed out during our first party and I felt so bad for her and it's just really awkward because you can't really get the chance to talk to the girls like you want to and really make that first good impression and it's just so bad. You don't want to pass out. You don't want to be known as that girl. Please take care of yourselves guys and eat some food. Eat a lot of food that day. I know you'll be nervous but it'll definitely help you I promise. <laughs> 
The eighth thing I wish someone would have told me before going through recruitment is to make eye contact. And this will definitely help you stand out as a PNM because it is really easy to kind of like dart your eyes around a lot, like and check out things going on in the room during sorority recruitment. And making that eye contact with the member that you are talking to or the sorority member um, will really show her that you are interested in what she has to say and that you're interested in the sorority as a whole. So that's definitely a big thing I wish someone would have told me. The ninth tip is actually something that I was told during sorority recruitment, but I thought it would be helpful for those of you who haven't heard it before, and that's don't mention boys, alcohol, or partying. No one wants to like, go through recruitment and be asked, so who do you guys party with? Do you get a lot of hot guys? Oh my god, do you guys drink alcohol all the time? Do you get super wasted on the weekend? No, 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 honey, that is not cute, and that just shows what you are truly interested in joining for, and there's a lot more to sorority than partying boys and drinking. Mentioning that kind of stuff just is a little inappropriate for sorority recruitment, so kind of stray away from this. It's okay to mention, like, oh, me and my boyfriend one time went to, like, Costa Rica for a dental assistant program, like, whatever, it's fine to mention your boyfriend a couple times, just don't go ham and, like, Talk about him way too much because that's a little weird. The 10th thing I wish someone would have told me is don't act like someone you're not. I went in recruitment trying to be this stereotypical sorority girl and like try to be super perfect and preppy and I was like this is not me. I am a goofy silly girl who likes to really have fun and that just was me like I just felt awkward during recruitment because I felt like I had to stay in this box of things that I was talking about so that they would get this perfect image of me and it really made my recruitment experience a lot harder. So please don't try to act like someone you're not, you know, it's really not going to help you in the long run and you'll just end up somewhere that you don't really fit in and don't want to be in. There's nothing fun about pretending to be someone you aren't for the rest of your life, you know? The last thing I wish someone would have told me is to really take advantage of your sorority recruitment counselors or your Rho Gamma or whatever they are called at your school. Take advantage of them, you know, talk to them and really get advice from them because they know your school and they know your school sorority very, very well. They're trained for that kind of thing. <laughs> Go to them on advice for what to wear, what to bring, who to talk to, what to talk about, what's not appropriate to talk about. They have it all down. They have been practicing. They really know what to ask you guys. They've been trained on all these types of questions. So they're really there for your benefit. So use them as much as you need to. Talk to them, you know, text them, whatever you gotta do, girl. Just use them like you should. All right, guys, that is the end of my videos and 11 things that I wish someone would have told me about sorority recruitment. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment below because I will definitely talk to you guys. I love giving you guys advice or answering any of your questions. And I really hope that these help you guys when you're going through recruitment in the fall. Because if you are, good luck. I know it'll be a lot of fun and you guys will love the sorority that you end up in. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I also have a vlog channel as well, which I will link down below. If you guys have any other questions though or... Um, anything you want to talk to me about, you can always email me at simplesouthernbellbusiness at yahoo.com. Other than that, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you think it was helpful. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.